Kabuya West constituency constitutes of four wards, namely Matulo, Sitiho, Bokoli, and Misiho, forming part of the nine constituencies found within Bungoma County. After the boundaries of Wabuya West constituency were determined, it was followed by the election of its first and sitting member of the National Assembly, Honorable Dan Wanyama, who has, apart from representing the constituency in the National Assembly, has also seen the implementation of development projects in the constituency. <laughs> kwa uaminifu na uangalifu ewe Mwenyezi Mungu nisaidie a walk into public schools is a clear indication of the achievements in his developmental agenda with regard to education sector classrooms dormitories and libraries have been constructed and more are still underway to provide a good learning environment to our children the Constituency Development Fund, CDF, has purchased school buses for easy transport of students and land also has been secured for schools to expand in order to accommodate more students. Most schools now have administration blocks and laboratories making learning experience for students easy. A good number of needy students both in day schools and boarding schools have been awarded with scholarships from the constituency's bursary scheme in order to enable them realize their dreams to become better people in the society. They come from that poor background and uh, the bursar has assisted them a lot because it has given time to them that opportunity to settle down and uh, capitalize on their potential. We also appreciate the team and Moshimua so much for giving us the 10 million that is enabling us to construct the story dormitory. I think that one is going to assist the institution. Uh, because it will assist our girls to concentrate on their studies. It will also uh, limit the distractors that are likely to make them not to concentrate. In like cases of pregnancies, I know they are going to be reduced so much. Mm -hmm. I want to thank the administration for the double that they have given to them. You know that some students, they don't have money to wait for their education, but because of the administration, they have given us a possibility even if it is legal, but it is important in our education. We want to thank them so much, especially our mother and mama for the support that they have given to us for giving us the money for construction. We want to thank them. Let them be a kitten from this year during the second, second term, and they have helped me since at the beginning of first term. My parents had to sacrifice a lot in order to get up my school fees. But right now, I'm enjoying my studies because I don't have um, time to think about the problems my parents are undergoing. So I'm able to relax in my studies. I received 30,000 from Webuye CDF and I really thank for that because it has helped my parents the burden of getting those those many amounts of shillings to pay my school fees and even it, it has added my morale in studies so that's all my name is Baraza Bebe. I thank the CBA for for giving me thirty thirty thousand shillings for my education. Even my parent was not able to raise, so I just say thank you. And they have been able to make me carry on with my studies, and uh, I say just thank you.
and my appreciation to you is that you have con consistently helped me financially and also motivating me to scale great heart great heights in the field of education I'm happy that uh, the CDF for the constituency has saved us in living as in kids' problem because we have other children who are in school and others are in college. And uh, this has been a very good encouragement to us. And we wish the CDF to also help us so that we can benefit in the education system. In this school, we have uh, three projects. The library was put up by the CDF and we are really grateful to our donors. We have a dormitory named after the area MP called Dan Wanyama. It is uh, 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 the boys who stay there are uh, 96. And there is a new project to come up. That is the septic tank project. We have just received a check of two million two weeks ago. We are in process of uh, tendering and awarding whoever will go and do the work. Uh, last term we received 530,000 shillings towards education bursary for these boys you see before you and we cannot take that for granted similarly this this day we have received 120000 shillings to assist in bursary to educate these boys and briefly our population has increased because of the modern dormitories and the morale of these boys is very high because they are no longer on the road up and down looking for fish because some have been given full sponsorship. About 10 boys, each has been given 30,000 shillings, and our fees is only 35,000. So the parent, I'm sure, will top up the remaining five. Otherwise, thank you very much for being mindful of our <laughs> Honorable Dan Wanyama has in the recent past intervened in the payment of sugarcane growers, which is the main economic activity of the constituents. Through his intervention, the government released a lump sum of 300 million shillings through Nzoya Sugar Company as part payment of farmers' stipends. Honorable Dan Wanyama through the Constituency Development Kitty is connecting communities through bridges that connect Namawanga to Mahonge and the one that connects Chebini to Chekulo and the Nabuala Bridge. This has seen a major economic growth as communities can easily access markets to buy and sell essential products. They most importantly can now access health facilities and schools. Constituency has inspired a major transformation in the transport sector, mainly the border border sector, which is the most common mode of transport. Farmers can also transport their farm products to their markets with much ease. Sugarcane growers can now pay less transportation costs for their produce to factories.
The Honorable Member is working closely with the Area Administration Chiefs and their assistants from different sub-locations to ensure the security of his constituents is guaranteed. He has constructed offices for them to administer their duties and be easily accessed whenever need arises. Youths can now showcase their talents through different fora, including sports through donation of sporting equipment to different youth groups, a case that has seen a major reduction in the number of youths who get involved in criminal activities. <laughs> na tuendelee kuwa pamoja niliongea mengi jana kwa sababu nataka niwapatie nafasi wanao safari i just want to wish you the journey masses and wherever you go pass my greeting and i'm humbly very very grateful for you to have come all the way to participate in this tournament Secondary schools can now impart students with computer skills following the construction of labs and donation of desktops to different schools within Webuya West constituency in the past five years. Oh, yeah.